Hello and welcome to the Swift Race Place. I'm Cade Fravel and this week we have another community coaching tip for you. This week, Wilbert Tunnel Tulner shares his tip about how lighter riders can still be effective in the team time trial. And this doesn't only apply to lighter riders, but also riders that are just feeling a little bit tired on the day and such. And this applies to both the ZRL team time trial as well as the weekly Thursday TTT. And before we start, I just want to make a quick announcement. If you're interested in getting your coaching tip on the show, you want to share it here on the show, just comment down below. No need to fill out that application form anymore. Just comment down below and I'll get back to you. All right, here is your coaching tip from Wilbert Tunnel Tulner of Team BRT. Hi guys of the Swift Race Place. Wilbert here from the Bolt Racing Team with a new community coaching tip. And this week's tip is all about uh, team time trial and especially how to be of a value for your team without taking a pull on the front. For me as a lightweight rider, weighing around 62 kilograms, I always struggle to take one minute pulls on the front during a TTT because I already have to do more watts per kilogram compared to the more heavier guys on the team. Therefore, we came up with a role for me, which is called the gap closer. And the gap closer is the guy who sits in second wheel and follows the guy who's taking his pull on the front. The most important part is when the switch on the front happens. The guy who has just taken his pull on the front drifts towards the back of the train and a new teammate is about to take his pull on the front. The role of the gap closer is to catch his wheel and keeps the group together, which is important because you often see a variety in speed when there is a change in the lead. As you can see here in this picture, you see my power graph during a Swift Racing League team time trial. I'm almost constantly riding around my FTP. You can see the little tops in power output, especially at the beginning of the time trial. I also managed to do a few short turns because I felt strong. Now in order to do this, you have to make some appointments with your team, because communication is key. Once you know each other's strengths and weaknesses, it helps a lot during a team effort. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the Zwift Race Place for more coaching tips and live race coverage. Also, a quick announcement, in the near future we will have a video coming out about Zwift from a junior's perspective, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Alright, thanks for watching, and we will see you next Tuesday with another Community Division coaching tip.